When Jamin Green was drafted by the Rockets in the 2021 draft, he basically had the keys to this team and was able to operate in that offense however he wished. During his rookie season, he put up 17 points a game on 42% from the field, which isn't that great of efficiency, and that's going to be a large topic of our conversation today. Green's sophomore season, he improved to 22 points a game, but his efficiency dropped to 41% from the field. Note the league average is 47%, and most elite players in the league shoot really 50% these days or around there. Definitely, if you consider yourself an efficient elite scorer, you're above that 47% mark, and your true shooting is really like in the 60s. So Javen Green is one of those volume scorers, which I think that term should be looked down upon these days because it's quite simply saying that this person isn't an efficient scorer. So in Jalen Green's third season here, his points per game is down from 22 to 16. His minutes are down from 34 to 30. His shots are down from 18 a game to 14 a game, and his field goal percentage has dipped below 40%. Most notably, in his last two games, he's been benched in the fourth quarter. He played 22 minutes and then 20 minutes. He scored nine points and then five points. And after this happened, Javen Dream took to social media to post this. And this is what Aime Yudoku had to say after being asked about why the second overall quick is not really in the rotation as much of late. I play hard, like the group that was in. I mean, that's what it starts with effort. And you know, not saying that they didn't play hard, but um, obviously they were struggling tonight. Not letting a tough offensive night affect your whole game. And that's anybody across the board. And so not just him, I think. Now, it would be silly for Jalen Green's own coach to really say anything negative about him while he's struggling. But the truth here is that the Rockets have a serious case for not really needing his services going forward. Because here's the thing, he is not an efficient scorer and the Rockets are getting increasingly impressive contributions from Alperin Sengun, Fred Van Fleet, who they just paid, Amen Thompson, who seems to be way better off the dribble, and the same case with Jabari Smith, who's shooting the ball much better and playing off the dribble much better, it seems like there's not as many shots to go around, and these other players are scoring at a much more efficient clip. Let me explain. If you simply go to NBA.com and sort the entire league points per game, and you go down to Jalen Green, who's hovering just under 17 at 39% from the field, there is nobody who scores more than him that's shooting that bad from the field. What that basically means is like, why are we giving this guy that many shots? That's a fair question to ask when you're the only player in that range that's really self 40% from the field. So the truth here, this isn't supposed to be a video to just bash Jalen Green, but the truth is the Rockets have so many pieces that Jalen Green getting 20, 22 minutes a night might have to be the norm from now on. But Javen Green's inefficiency is not the only part of the equation here. Let's get a little bit more into the improvements across the board from the Rockets. So let's start with Alperen Sangoon, who's putting up 20 a game this year on 53% from the field, but most importantly, he's shooting 15 shots a game, whereas last year he only shot 10. He quite simply looks like the cornerstone of this team, and this is the last season that he won't be an all-star for a while. He continues to get more aggressive as of late and has put up a couple of 30-point games where he's really doing whatever he wants. So then moving on to Gillen Brooks, who obviously everyone knows this summer got a terrible reputation the way he left the Grizzlies, but he's turning everything around this season. He's shooting 38% from deep, 46% from the field, putting up 13 points. He's your dream and three and V guy to complement their offense. And then let's talk about Fred Van Fleet, 
who simply they're paying a lot of money. He's not as efficient as some of these other guys, but he's amazing in the pick and roll. He could run your offense. He's a very solid point guard, and with the money they're paying him, why would they not go to him? I'm not going to make a case that he's one of the best guards in the league, but he's going to take up shots from Javon Green that wasn't there in years past. So he's basically running a lot of the offense, probably the highest usage guide on the team. Things are going to trend more towards Sangoon probably, but none of this helps Jamin Green's case, who's been playing inefficient. Now let's talk about Jabari Smith Jr., who as of rate has shown improvement off the dribble, which again, this is only going to be a player who needs more shots. In his last five games, he shot double digit pupils, which wasn't really the case before that. He's also shooting nearly 40% from three this season after shooting 30% last year. He's defending at a high level and his mid range looks unstoppable. So if you're a coach and you want to win now, this is another player on your roster who you probably want to give more looks to. And to top off the list of players taking up shots from Jalen Green is Aaron Holiday, who shot 50% from deep in the month of December, is shooting 43% from deep on the season. So that's another player who they're just going to want to give the ball. So all of this for Jamin Green is just really not a good sign if he's still in the point of his career where he wants to be that guy, be a leader on the team, be the guy that's going to put up 23 to 25 points a game. It's definitely a conversation now in Houston. Should we be giving him the ball? Is that really a priority for us? Because when a player gets drafted into a situation, and this is why situation is everything, when a player gets drafted through a losing team, there's no pressure to win. So they could really afford to shoot a low clip from the field. But when your team is capable of winning now, which the Houston Rockets are, that's when things get different. When other players on your team start playing better, start scoring more, that's only going to make people ask, why shouldn't they be shooting more? So, so for Jamin Green, that's kind of what's happening. He definitely has a lot of talent. He would be great off the bench for anybody. He could probably be great as a starter still somewhere else. I don't know, but the point is, for what Houston is doing right now, it doesn't look like it's going to work. He's doing 30 minutes a game on the season, so this drop-off has been as of late, which is why it's really interesting. So we'll see how things shake out in Houston. Jalen Green came into the league as one of the most hyped players. He was signed with Adidas before he played an NBA game. He was a top two pick. He played that season for the Ignite. His game is honestly really fun to watch. He's a high flyer. He has a great handle. He's a fun player to watch, but this team is trying to win now. So I'm not sure he fits that framework for them. Houston currently stands in the eight seed, but the West is pretty tight. They're four games away from Oklahoma City at three seed. They're five games away from Denver. They're six and a half games away from the Timberwolves. Basically, this team is not a joke anymore, so they're trying to win basketball games now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If there's any Rockets fans out there that want to see Jalen Green play more or play less or be traded or come off the bench, embrace a bench role, maybe you should be what D'Angelo Russell did. Who knows? But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.